86. Middle class believes you have to sacrifice your health to get rich, world class believes being rich will make you healthier. Another pervasive belief of the masses is that building a fortune requires seven day work weeks, losing sleep, and constant stress. If I believe I have to choose between being rich and being healthy, why would I want to get rich? The truth is wealth gives you far better access to world class healthcare, preventive medicine, and alternative treatments. If you need a specific, cutting edge procedure that's not available where you live, you simply fly to a country that offers it. It's a great solution, but it's not cheap. People earning $100,000 per year cannot even consider it. Even if they could, they probably don't have the contacts to get on the right list to have the opportunity. I'm not saying it's fair. Everyone, regardless of their financial status, should have access to any procedure, treatment or drug that they need. But they don't. Welcome to reality. So until you or I become king and change the world, let's get rich and gain access to what we need to save or extend our lives or the lives of the people we love. Another reason being rich makes you healthier is the elimination of the biggest stressor of the masses, money. The wealthy don't worry about paying their bills. They like to think about things like expanding their art collection, lowering their handicap, and in which of their homes they should host the next charity event. I'm not joking. I've spent years with these people, and they don't experience the stress, worries and sleepless nights that most people do. Money doesn't buy happiness, but it will solve any problem you can write a check for, and that covers a lot of problems. Imagine how much more energy you would have if you didn't have to worry about money. How much healthier would you be if you never had to wake up to another alarm clock and could sleep as long as you needed to every day? What would be the impact on your stress level if you could afford to fire your boss? You see where I'm going with this? Why not go for it and get rich? What have you got to lose? Important tips. Money is kind of a base subject. Like water food, air and housing, it affects everything yet for some reason the world of academics thinks it's a subject below their social standing. By Robert Kiyosaki. Rich resource, die fat or get tough, 101 differences in thinking between fat people and fit people by Steve Seibold www.diefatbook.com Critical thinking question, do you see how being rich can positively impact your health? Action step. Take stock of your current level of physical fitness, weight, and energy level and set a goal for weekly improvement. The better you feel and the more energy and enthusiasm you have, the faster you will get rich. 87. Middle class hands down their limited beliefs about money to their children, world class hands down their unlimited beliefs about money to their children. The average family unconsciously passes down the same limiting beliefs they were taught about money from generation to generation. These are the beliefs that have kept families at the same level of financial success for dozens, if not hundreds, of years. The craziest part is these beliefs are rarely, if ever, questioned before they are handed down. This is sad, but true. The most financially aware parents teach their kids the truth about money starting with how misunderstood it is to the general public. They teach them that it's right to want to be rich, and it's also possible for anyone who thinks big. World-class parents never manipulate their kids with money or use it as a weapon, lest the child learns to see money as a tool to lord over others. They educate their kids on how to make money by solving problems and enhancing the quality of other people's lives. The child learns to see money as a positive, productive force for good instead of a weapon of the few to use against the many. Maybe the most important belief they teach their kids about money is the fact that they are smart enough to earn all they desire. No matter what their education level, IQ score, or performance in school, they have everything it takes to become a millionaire. This one belief has probably created more young millionaires than any other. It's a simple yet powerful transfer of confidence from parent to child. No sweeter words were ever uttered from a parent to a child than I believe in you. And you can do it. Important tips. We need to make a game out of earning money. 
There is so much good we can do with money. Without it, we are bound and shackled and our choices become limited. By Bob Proctor. Rich Resource. Why Smart People Make Big Money Mistakes and How to Correct Them. Lessons from the Life-Changing Science of Behavioral Economics by Gary Belsky and Thomas Gilovich. Critical Thinking Question. Have you questioned the validity of every belief you were programmed with about money in childhood? Action Step. Sit down with your kids and ask them to tell you every belief they have about money, and write them all down. Next, go through the entire list with them and upgrade or eliminate any beliefs that are less than world class. 88. Middle class teaches their children how to survive, world class teaches their kids how to get rich. The majority of us are taught by our parents, teachers, coaches ministers and other authority figures how to survive while experiencing as little pain as possible. The middle class maxim in America is, get a good education, find a good job, get married, have kids and be grateful for what you have. Not bad advice, but I wouldn't say it sets us up for world class success, would you? The great ones start teaching their kids early on that life in America is a tale of two cities, the haves and the have-nots. They explain how a small percentage of people own the majority of the wealth, and that most people settle for less than their share. This education starts early in childhood to make the child hyper aware of these facts so they can see them for themselves. The world class teaches their children that being rich doesn't make you better, it just gives you opportunities most people won't ever have. The wealthy know that even high-end private schools are limited in what they can teach their students about money, which is why they take it on themselves. Lessons about earning, saving and investing are common at the dinner table. Wealthy parents also teach their children the distinctions and thinking between the rich and the poor. When I mention this in speeches, I have people approach me afterwards and call these parents elitists. They say rich people are teaching their kids to look down at the masses because they're poor. This isn't true. What they're teaching their kids is to see the world through the eyes of objective reality, the way society really is. It's a nice thought to say everyone, regardless of their financial status, has access to all of the good things in life. It's also naive and untrue. Right or wrong, wealth offers privilege, and the sooner your kids know it, the more likely they are to do something about it. Important tips. As a parent, the best way to teach a child about finances is to be a role model. By Edward Powell. Rich resource, your credit score, your money and what's at stake, updated edition, how to improve the three-digit number that shapes your financial future by Liz Pulliam Weston. Critical thinking question. How much more successful would you be if you had learned how rich people think in school? Action step, using this book as your guide, teach your kids this information a little bit at a time to prepare them for the onslaught of middle class brainwashing they are going to receive in school, from other people, and from institutions of influence. 89. Middle class teaches their kids about money by example, world class does the same thing. Every parent knows that the best way to teach your kids is by example. Kids who grow up with working poor parents struggling to stay in the middle class tend to believe this is the way it's supposed to be. Money is supposed to be tough to earn and harder to keep. After all, they come to believe this is the way life is. They see their parents as smart people who are still broke, and they eventually conclude that this is how their life will end up. The great ones get successful and set an example for their kids. Children of self-made millionaires develop world-class belief systems about money because they watch their parents earning big dollars. No one can convince them that it's impossible to be rich because their parents have showed them the way. Even parents who have failed to achieve their financial dreams can set an example by continuing to try and teaching their kids about failure and success. Even with all the middle class societal influence raining down on kids every day, parents have an unparalleled level of power with their children that can override years of fear and scarcity programming. Think of things your parents said to you years ago, both good and bad, that you still remember today. That's the power parents possess. 
The problem is most of the things children remember were said unconsciously by their parents, without much thought of the long-term impact. World-class parents know they are the primary creators of their kids' belief systems, and they consciously and carefully craft every belief they pass on, especially when it comes to something as important as money. They know they can make or break their kids' financial future with a few major beliefs that alter the course of their lives. Their actions and results solidify these world-class beliefs long enough until the child is old enough to act on them. Important Tips Money is for making things happen. By Richard Branson Rich Resource Personal Finance Turning Money into Wealth 5th Edition By Arthur J. Cohn Critical Thinking Question What kind of example are you setting for your kids as it relates to getting rich? Action Step Make a decision to stake your claim for wealth, if you haven't already, and include your kids in the battle. Let them get a feel for the discipline and sacrifice it takes to build a financial fortune. 90. Middle class teaches their kids how to save their pennies, world class teaches their kids how to invest their pennies. Saving money is the secret downfall of the masses. It's not that saving is bad. It's the level of consciousness it originates from that makes it dangerous. The average parent is operating from a fear and scarcity based consciousness, so their strategy to build wealth is hoarding every penny and hoping it will be enough to last a lifetime. The great ones teach their kids that the most efficient method of earning money is by making it work for you. They teach them to invest their money so they can earn more while they sleep than most people do while they're awake. They teach them how to maximize their money by working with the current tax laws and taking advantage of legitimate write-offs. They teach them that money is a dynamic medium of exchange for goods and services that should circulate and grow. Millionaire parents are operating from a love and abundance consciousness that says there is always enough money to do whatever you want if you're creative enough to figure it out and mentally tough enough to stick to it when you fail. The rich see making money and acquiring wealth as a game, and they pass that point of view on to their kids. They teach them it's something to look forward to, not something to dread or be frightened of. Rich kids look forward to striking out on their own and making their mark on what they were taught. And they were taught that one of the great games in life is building wealth. Self-made millionaires teach their kids to read books on success, money, business, investing and anything else that will give them an edge. So while the masses are taught that life is tough and the most you can hope for is to squeak by with enough money to retire, the world class are taught to look forward to a game of limitless financial abundance. Is it really any mystery why there are so many second generation self-made millionaires? Important Tips I've been rich and I've been poor, rich is better. By Sophie Tucker Rich Resource don't tell me what to do, just send money. The Essential Parenting Guide to the College Years by Helen E. Johnson and Christine Selhas Miller. Critical Thinking Question Are you teaching your kids to think big? Action Step Teach your kids to value frugality while drawing inspiration from their wildest dreams. Thank you for listening. Tomorrow, next five differences I will share with you from Book How Rich People Think by Steve Saebold. So subscribe my channel Pearl until Phantomoth and press bell icon for to get notified as soon as my next video uploaded.